All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another packing video. Uh, today, we're going to be, or first, we're going to be packing a Zenith converter box. The contents are, it's new open box, basically. Um, let's see, I want to see how long this thing is. As soon as I find my tape measure. Okay, let's see. Oh, just a little bit over 12 inches. And it's about 10 inches here. I got to do a resize on this. No getting around it. It's just a little too long. Oh, we got some good news. Um, Mike, Mike C, that has been trying to help me with my box resizer well he finally did it for real this time let's see 14 should do it oh no four, man it's gonna be tight i gotta do it right there um he sent me where is it here we go he he found uh i think he's at a garage sale um a bunch of these like these parts i think and so he sent me one and this one actually like if this breaks, this one actually fits the little um, the little bolts that he sent me before. The little thumb, the all metal thumb screws that he sent me before. So thanks again, Mike. That's gonna I'll do 13 and a half here. That's going to make my life easier. Now the other one did work fine. It was just I was having to use the pliers every time, and that kind of sucked. So. Yeah, and it kind of, those pliers I was using kind of suck too because they're, uh, it's a Leatherman. They don't, they don't feel that comfortable. Uh, all right, where was I saying? Oh, um, yeah, so I mean, it, I was able to get it done, but, uh, now it's gonna be a little easier. So thanks again, Mike. He did not give up. All right. I mean, this is not much of a resize, but I didn't have much room to resize because the width is almost, ooh, that was really crooked too. Didn't have my T-square squared up, I guess. It's gonna work out fine because I'm resizing. I'm resizing this thing a bunch in the other direction too. Once we get to this, Let me adjust y'all a little bit here. There we go. It's kind of hard to get a clean fold whenever it's that close to the normal fold. I did okay. Look, just that little bit. You know what? I probably should have just grabbed a 16, 12, 10. Now that I think about it, because uh, yeah, this is dumb. This is a lot more work. 16, 12, 10. I might have been done already, but we're not gonna not gonna quit now. Just letting y'all know. Okay. If I could go back a few minutes in time, this does fit perfectly though. If I could go back a few minutes in time, I would change that plan. This will be a little smaller, but ultimately I don't think it's gonna, it wouldn't have made a difference. Oh yeah, Mike, that's nice, man. Thanks again, dude. <laughs> okay, that, that was actually, that was actually pretty sweet not having to, uh,
That was actually pretty sweet not having to um, get out the pliers and stuff. I think I convinced myself the pliers weren't that bad, but they were. Okay. bunch of this stuff off let's see let just get right here now this is a funky resize I mean, it's gonna it's it's fine it doesn't matter but I don't, I'm not happy with this I should have done 16, 12, 10. There's an ugly resize too. Let's see. Still a fine pack though. All right, packing some shoes. And I'm getting this box out just to test. I think it's gonna be perfect. 20, 0202. All right, Zoru. these shoes to a poly bag a little paper in here that'll do it real nice condition shoes they don't show hardly anywhere at all Trying to remember where we got these. Where, where the heck did we get these? But I, I know we only paid a couple of dollars for them, so. Fairly good flip. bread and butter all right we are packing these dog collars these are thick heavy duty large size dog collars and I had this box something we ordered came in it or something As long as the weight of this box doesn't exceed dot seven five when I put it on the scale, this is a good choice. It does not. Perfect. Because the dog collars themselves weighed just a little over half a pound oh, there's a label right there I meant to cover up uh, let's see 
I'll just slap my label on top of that one. Okay, so basically this is the same as if I'd shipped this in a bubble mailer and I didn't want to do it because of the size of those collars. That one's, all right, packing a hat. 864 with a clear trash can liner. Most of the hats we sell will fit an 864 because we don't we don't sell a, a ton of those big flat brim type hats. But when we do, uh, I have to I have to use a 1086er, and then usually I'll just resize it down a little bit. But yeah, this this kind of hat fits fine in here. Okay, we're packing this uh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie plate, which that's fitting, huh? Like we got, holidays are not far away, y'all. I hope you realize that. It feels like it, because the summer is, summer is not far behind us, but Got to get into this holiday mode, and I'm I'm gonna use kind of a, um, I'm gonna use a weird box for this because we've had this we had this box sitting around the shed for a while now. Yeah, that'll be fine once I wrap it. We've had a this box sitting around the shed for a little while now, and uh, it's a good box. I just don't know what to do with it, so I'm gonna use it for this pack. I always, I always do a little bit of fill anywhere there's somewhere somewhat hollow like that. And I'm not even sure if that does anything. But it definitely doesn't hurt anything, I think. All right, so that. Oh, sorry, y'all. Do I flip it? I could flip it. As long as I feel like the stem, no, that stem ain't gonna hit. I, I just don't, I just, I don't think it's any, I don't think it's any safer to do it that way. Uh, I will go ahead and do this though. Now, that. And this is the box I was talking about. This is actually a storage location. And um, yeah, might as well use it for something. I am gonna do one, one more thing to that, that pie plate thing. See how this is fitting. Yeah, it's gonna fit just fine, just like that. I am gonna do one more thing though. I am going to, let's see, I've got so much scrap board here. I'm just gonna reinforce sidewalls here. These will, I think these actually will fit perfectly. pretty good anyway. Is 
Okay, yeah, I like that. As a matter of fact, I might go ahead and do this too. Why not? While we're in here, there we go. Make a little vault. Made a little vault of sorts. One more piece to this. A couple more pieces up. Man, I got so much of this stuff. Never ends. I do somehow seem to always end up being able to use it somewhere. Can I get this in here? Can. Well, how does this feel? Yeah. Oh yeah, feels really strong. I can tell. I can feel those uh, all that cardboard stiffener I put in there. Probably gonna wonder what the heck CC2 means. <laughs> Y'all know, we know. Okay. Didn't do anything there. Okay, we're good. All right, we're packing some more shoes. These are some cool looking vans. Which that's another one of our bread and butter things cool looking vans <laughs> going 12 10 4 again Twelve ten four 10 4 until they get up to like size 11 12 13 men's uh, those those don't normally fit very well in these but I don't, actually I don't even know what size these are what are, what are these these, yeah, okay, this is a men's eight. See, see how these fit? They fit fine. Grab, I'll grab a couple of these. Or just one. Perfect fit. All right, packing this uh, charger. don't remember if we paid 50 cents or a dollar. I think it might have been 50. I, I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. Another little bread and butter sale. I 
know, we do show some of the home runs sometimes where, you know, like we pay $5 for something and sell it for a hundred. But garage sales are all about the dollar into 20 items, really. That's what keeps things going for us anyway. Now, if we could find unlimited supply of five into a hundred, we would do it for sure. All right, we're packing this Lego stuff here. And I want to keep it fairly loose because some of this, like I don't want to br like break the heads off the minifigs and some of that stuff is well, a lot of that stuff is kind of put together so i want to give it plenty of room so it shows up just like that not that it's a big deal if it comes apart i just think that's the better presentation which makes this a perfect size box because just lay right in there this Pack in a cookbook and a Gemini comic mailer. Mo a, a lot of cookbooks are too are just simply too thick for this kind of pack. But when when I can do this kind of pack, I do it because look how fast, so fast. One issue I did have, someone let me know last week with these uh, Gemini comic mailers, if I'm not careful, the thank you card, or in this case, I actually had a card card, like in a top loader. Um, if you leave too much room here, it can kind of, it can escape sometimes. So. That's why I did that extra bit of tape there. Okay, we have these two epic magazines. And then this figurine are going in the same order. Let me pop this open real quick. I just want to make sure it's not just sitting in there loose. I can feel it moving a little bit. No, it's in bubble wrap. I'm going to put just a little more. Because there's still some, some amount of motion. It's not a big deal but it won't hurt to put a little extra as long as it'll fit. Yeah, that did it. Fits fine. Okay. Look, that's, that's my old uh, Amazon label. <laughs> and we're just gonna go 12, 10, four again. I'm using a lot of these. Fortunately, I just re restocked on these yesterday. I had a Zora order come in. I ordered, and here's the thing I like about Zora. Whenever, whenever I was buying from Granger, they have breaks on their prices 
based on how much you buy. And Zorro, they don't. And by the time I add the coupon with Zorro, uh, Zorro's cheaper anyway without having to buy like a hundred of a box at a time. Which I didn't mind buying a hundred of a box, but you know, as far as the money or whatever, that wasn't an issue. I just don't want to store that many boxes. <laughs> That's a pain. I'd rather just, I'd rather just buy exactly what I need for like the next couple of weeks at a time. And that's what we've been doing. It's been really nice. Cause like the order I made the other day, I, I ordered um, 25 of these, 25, 12, 12, 12, 25, 16, 12, 10s. I'm able to just kind of top up my stock without having to go, you know, like a hundred of each and then try and figure out where to store them all. And their fast shipping means that I can actually do that and they're reliable. Okay, that one's done. All right, packing this, uh, some kind of card game. I'm not even exactly sure what, what this is. We had a pretty good many of them. I'm going to use one of these super lightweight 864s. Excuse me, 844. I also ordered some 644s from Granger, which I'm out of. And uh, they're getting here today. supposed to get here today. Okay. Go. All right, we sold these fancy little hotel type soaps. They probably are from a hotel, honestly. Probably went to, somebody went to a nice hotel and took a bunch of them. That's pretty nice, man. Like, we spent 250 on those. We got 40 something. And that's probably a really good deal for the customer too, because that's a pretty good bit of, pretty good bit of fancy soap. Okay. And I can't lie, I'm, I'm much less hesitant to, to use. I got to the point where I was hesitant to resize with this thing, just because I knew it was gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. So being able to resize easy now is good. weight set okay it's gonna be two pounds no matter what I had some unnecessary flap I could have cut but no point these uh, cool cocktail glasses just trying to see how you know what this box ain't gonna do it I was thinking it would I mean if I didn't actually I think it will let me see what I'm gonna do here it's a 1086 I think that should work and those are these are some good sturdy 
some cocktail glasses. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna pack them yet. If I do decide this, yeah, I mean, this has gotta be a, yeah. If this doesn't work, then why not? There's something wrong with me. Okay, um, I was gonna put them in these, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, the, the space we're gonna have in this box is such that I don't think that's necessary. Let me see, I wanna do, let's see, I wanna do this. Okay, they're not gonna fit inside of each other like that. But if I put them inside of each other and stretch wrapped them, would that be the move? I don't really wanna do that, no. That's not a good move, that's not smart. Okay, I'm just not, I'm not going to nest them. I was thinking I was going to nest them, but I don't, now I don't think that's the best play here. Packing them glass on glass is not a good idea. This time. Okay. Always make a point to fill the voids. So I'll, this is weird the way I'm doing this. Okay. Now, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay. This will work. Yeah. Grab a little bit of this stuff. Well, insurance. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um. Just making this thing up as I go along, y'all. Every day. Yeah, okay, I'm liking this. This way, bad fold, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Then we'll fill with a little more paper. Yeah, look at that, I like that. I mean, ultimately, that doing that little extra extra strengthening with the cardboard interior, it's kind of, it's pretty, it's basically like a, basically like a box in box. Okay. Ah, popped. That's my fault. There was a lot of, a lot of stress on that. Not your fault, whatever whatever brand tape this is. It's uh it's not my go-to, it's I don't know, cheap tape, cheap eBay tape. But even even with good tape, sometimes if you have like a a weird a weird amount of stress on a, a corner, you can't expect it to hold down. Okay, that's done. Let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no worries. All right, just a couple more 
orders and they're both Macari orders and they're both fast packs. Macari is the place where we sell this kind of stuff. <laughs> it's a perfect, perfect place to sell that. Macari, we have we have sold a ton of action figures on Macari. Action figures and dolls, other stuff too. But that's like, to me, that's like the thing they like the best over there. Okay, one more thing, this wig. And that is going to be everything for today. Thank you very much for joining me, if you've made it this far. And I will see y'all again. Well, this video is not over. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Okay, back for another day. And our first pack this morning is another Yadro figure. This one, they're all delicate. I'm not saying they're not delicate. This one doesn't have any, like, crazy features I have to worry about in particular. So, I'm going to be double boxing this. And we're going to double box using a 1086. real quick and see oh yeah that's fine looks like perfect all right use three and three she is going all the way to Greece this was sold on EIS eBay international shipping program for those of us in the United States. Where all we have to do is send it to, when I, it, it's like, a, whenever you sell with the, with EIS, eBay International Shipping Program, it's actually, it's just as simple as selling to someone domestically the only difference is it's 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 safer like there's less risk selling using EIS there's less risk than selling any other way actually it's 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 less risky for me to ship this to Greece than it is for me to ship this next door <laughs> that's a fact We've got all kind of built-in protections. And if they want to return it, like I, I imagine if, if there's like, if it's materially different from what you advertise, like you might have to, you might have to refund that. But like if they, if they're just not happy with it or whatever, or, Whatever the case may be, or they don't receive it, or, or you know, any of that stuff, um, you're covered. You don't have to cover any of that stuff. eBay takes care of that. It, it is a, it comes at a price to the customer, but uh, yeah. 
I'd rather sell something expensive with EIS than I would uh, any other way, actually. Okay. And over the years, uh, we have had we have had issues with you know delivery with EIS, and we have never we have never lost a dime. eBay has always always backed us up on all of them, so pretty confident with EIS sales. here thank you again Mike for that <laughs> let's see we'll do it like right here then I'm going okay I already did thank you car I remember that then I'm gonna use the um, since we're doing box and box here I'm gonna use the thicker paper in here. One more. trying to float the goal of this is just to float the box in the middle Very relieved. Uh, we got positive feedback on the last. We got positive feedback on the last uh, Yadra we shipped the other day. I'll show a picture of it here. That was the one that I was the most worried about. It, I think it was probably the most delicate one we had. And the customer was very happy with it and even mentioned that it was very well packed. So that's the one I wrote a note on top of the box. So we're still 100% on shipping these things and we only have like two left, I think. Go. All right, we are packing this Rosie Perez autobiography, and it is signed right here. Picked up several um, signed copies of autobiographies a few days ago. Bag it and then paper.
or do I want to resize it? Let's see. If this if this can go, oh yeah, I, I'd rather resize. So I don't I don't really need the paper for cushioning with this. In my opinion, I just need it for uh, void fill. Um, uh, you know, I could have maybe used the, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do this. Could have maybe saved a little time and used a Gemini comic mailer. This might, be, eh, nah, it's a little thick for a Gemini. Okay, we have two Alitalianas going out. I'm going to pack them both away. I need to get my uh, poly bags. Oh, we have 500 more of these on the way. These are good poly bags. Pack them like pack them this way just about every time. These Italiana cookbooks have been pretty hot the past couple of weeks. They're awesome. We were trying to figure out like why. Because we you know, I mean, they were they did pretty well when we first listed them. Uh, then it slowed down a lot, as you kind of expect. But uh, this recent surge, we were thinking somebody must have like made a, a post, a blog post, or in a group or something. About how good the cookbook was, or something, something like that. And I searched, I couldn't find anything, so I'm not exactly sure. Because they're selling well on both um, eBay and Etsy right now for us. Okay. This is two separate orders, by the way. Just got to make sure I write the name. outside so I know which one is which okay this is gonna be Joseph we also need to take Probably need to go ahead and inventory what we have left. We probably have about, I think we have five on our shelf over there. And then I don't know how many we have in storage. I'm not sure. We had, I would say, a third of them or maybe a little more. Oh, I got to write Joseph on this. A third, I'll just write a J. A third of them, uh, we kind of classified as like they might have like a, a stain on the cover or something. I, I think it was just from age. I don't think it was like none of them, none of these were ever used. 
But anyway, we had uh, like discolorations or whatever on some of them that we kind of deemed um, almost like seconds or something. I mean, the books are fine. They're just not quite the grade these are as far as condition goes. So after we're after we're out of this quote unquote grade of uh, cookbooks, then we're we're gonna make a new listing or change the condition on the current listing and lower the drop the price a little bit. So we need to figure out how exactly how many we have since they've been kind of selling fast. Okay, and this one is the other person. I just need to do the J label first. Okay, that's done. All right, packing this little tape measure, little vintage fire truck tape measure. Real smooth. I should have probably should have kept it. Uh, let's see. Put a little bubbles. Bubbles in a 644 box. I'm going to try and guess the weight here real quick. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Going to... Pretty sure... Yeah, this is probably going to be close to four ounces. But I think it'll probably be under four. Not by much, though. I had to guess now it's probably going to be like dot two two, maybe dot two three on the scale. My scale does not show ounces, by the way. It just shows like decimal um, of pounds. So let's see. Oh, man. I'm, I'm gonna hopefully I'm I'm gonna in hope guess that it's dot two five. It feels a little heavier than I expected, but it might actually be. Let's see, dot two five. I'm gonna go with that. Optimistic. No, oh, no, it's dot two four. Look at that. Okay, sweet. Okay, last pack today. This is a uh, embroidery or something. Yeah, I think these are embroidery books. Short run. But this lady was like kind of an all-star in that field, I think. Actually, I know because I looked it up. I actually saw that she had died. Found her obituary. And it mentioned her, um, the, the embroidery stuff she had done. So. And this is actually going all the way across the country. It's been pretty nice since we've added uh, embroidery and sewing books and other kind of stuff like that to our repertoire. Most of it is not worth buying, but some of the stuff that is can be really good money. Like these books, I think we paid, um, I'm pretty sure the original price on them, because we, we usually go to estate sales on Sunday when it's half price. And um, I'm pretty sure these had $2 on them. So we only paid a dollar a piece, so $3 into this order for us, cost of goods.
Okay, it's a new day and we are packing this ornament. Now this ornament uh, comes in this box. There's this paper that sits on top, uh, but the ornament moves around a pretty good bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of bubble wrap inside of there to keep it somewhat stable here. Very happy. You're going to see another ornament here in a minute from the same buy. There we go. So this, will this work? Yeah, that will work. You know what? I'll turn it like this. Very happy to see that because um, we have a lot of a lot of these LSU ornaments up for sale. So. If we can sell a couple on a day, a random day in October, then I have some confidence that we might be able to sell through most of them this holiday season. Because I don't think most people are quite yet in holiday mode yet. Probably not until Halloween is over. It's crazy. Whenever we, uh, whenever we go garage sailing now, it seems like every every other street we go on has a 12 foot tall skeleton in the front yard. I'm not like I'm not into all that. I'm not into Halloween like a lot of people are. I, I think it's kind of a weird holiday. Uh, okay. Oh, let me print this later. All right, we sold this. Uh, I'm packing this brass turtle. It's so cool. Little tr trinket tray, trinket, not tray, trinket. Uh, I don't know. I know what you call it. This thing is cool. I don't remember where we got this thing now that I'm looking at it. Candace, you know where we got this? The turtle? I cannot... But no, I'm not a big fan of Halloween for whatever reason. It's probably just me. Because I also don't like, um, Candace likes horror movies, suspense and stuff. I don't like that kind of movie. So we put this thing at 15 ounces. Oh yeah, wow, that is close. Dot nine eight. Which is not 15 ounces. But hmm, okay, I to get the be able to get the best price, I'm going to have to buy the postage on pirate ship. Let me compare rates real quick. Because I know there, like, there are some things that... Some of these holiday rate increases that are in effect that eBay is not charging. But I thought pirate ship was. But now I'm not sure. Let me check. All right, we have some, uh, some jeans here. And I'm crazy. A lot of times I like double bag stuff like this. Just because I'm, I'm concerned if, if like the outer bag gets punctured or something that the inner bag, the inner bag will be a last line of defense. I don't know. I'm silly about that. I don't, I don't advise anyone else doing this, <laughs> but no, the, um, thing I was talking about with that last item, I wanted to print a label. For 15.9 ounces because eBay charges a different price 
for 16 ounces and 15 ounces and that last package is over 15 ounces but you can't let me get the next thing all right back in this little walmart pen a little bubble bubble wrap uh, burrito i guess uh, no but um on ebay you can't put in like decimals for the weight and if you put in 16 ounces then um if you put in 16 ounces there's another price just for 16 ounces but on pirate ship you could put in 15.9 and get the same price as a 15 ounce on ebay uh, but if you did just put 15 ounce on it on the uh, on the ebay label it probably would have been fine too but i prefer to go pirate ship on those exact scenarios so i did that one's done I've got a uh, Mario Tennis game. And yes, I did get my uh, 644s in. Thank goodness. This is definitely one of my most used boxes. the scum buster and let's see let me make sure just want to make sure it's gonna fit yeah it'll fit i'll put a little wrap of bubble wrap on it just for the heck of it this is a good sturdy box going inside of another box it'll be fine either way yeah, i'm not gonna worry about that all right and we're using, we're going to use a 16, 12, 10. Sometimes they put these little stick, these kind of stickers don't really stick that. They don't mess up the box whenever I peel them off, so it's fine. Let's pick y'all up. Okay. I think we're, we're going to have our... This is our first resize of the day. Usually I don't go that many packages before I get a, get to a resize. Kind of nice. Yeah, this is an awesome deal we got. We paid. There's a couple of companies now estate sale companies you know it's always been like around here it's it's pretty much and i think a lot of places pretty much standard operating procedure that um let's see how this fits yes, it fits good. it's good it's pretty much standard operating pr procedure that um friday is full price saturday is like now this will vary sometimes they'll do full price on saturday but most places will do like 25% off on Saturday, Saturday, and then they'll do half off on Sunday. Well, some of the estate sale companies around here, let me take this out, I'll end up cutting it. Some of the estate sale companies around here uh, have been doing this 40% off thing on Sunday. And it's funny, it actually makes feel like it makes a pretty big difference sometimes in whether I want to buy something or not. Doesn't seem like 10% would matter much. But it comes into play sometimes. But uh, yeah, so that thing was $10 and then they knocked it down to $6. So what a deal that was. And it's factory sealed still. Uh, so how's this going to go? Okay. 
I can do this. Since I'm mostly just relying on the boxes just for strength here. Put a little cardboard in the bottom to reinforce. This is gonna be a really strong box because because we resized it, now we have all this extra cardboard here too. So it's gonna be very well protected, I think. Even though I'm not putting a lot of like padding and stuff in the box. Let's see, how do I wanna do it? I think I wanna do it like this. Yeah. See all that extra cardboard there? That's That helps a lot. Candace found this in the, uh, like in the utility room. She's real good at like looking under stuff and on top of stuff and finding things that other people didn't notice. And in this case, the estate sale people didn't even notice it. It wasn't even priced. They had to come up with a price off the cuff at checkout, uh, which probably played to our benefit. All right. That's done. Okay, I'm thrilled to pack this. This is a sleeping bag. Really nice uh, L.L. Bean sleeping bag. The issue with it, and I knew it was going to be a problem. We got a pretty good price on it. Uh, it's, it's personalized here. Good thing is, though, I think that name or the reason it probably sold, I'm guessing. I didn't ask. Not my business, but um, I'm guessing that customer maybe has a kid named Hayden or they didn't care. One of the two. And we took a we took a pretty low offer because I wanted to move move along from this. Because it does take up a pretty good bit of space on the shelf. And I was starting to wonder if it would ever sell, so I was happy to take an offer. Rather than have to donate it or something later. Okay. I'm gonna bag this thing. Sleeping bag in a, it's in a bag. And then I'm gonna bag it. And then we're gonna see we can compress it. I think we can. Oh, yeah. It'll compress fine. Probably going to... Let's see. Let me just put it in here and see. All right. Oh, yeah. This, this, this is easy. This is good. Okay. There we go. The only thing I'm going to do, take, uh, since they're going to be, whenever they open it, they're going to be cutting right across the seam here. I'm just going to put a little, put some cardboard on the, no, I need to, so if I'm going to do that, I need to do this. Okay. Just in case they get, although, I mean, chances of them cutting hard, because they'd have to cut through both, both flaps. <laughs> Not likely, but I'll go ahead and do that anyway.
There we go. Okay, we're packing this little ring. It's in the bag. Uh, what I, don't know. I guess I'll put it in some. So I'll bubble it. I have this thing where I typically don't like product <laughs> to touch cardboard or paper. I don't. I don't know. It probably. It's probably dumb. Probably dumb. This will be a four ounce pack, four ounce ship for sure, I believe. I know, actually, I know it's going to be four ounce, but let me get a weight on this thing. Okay, uh, let me see. Ooh, man, this one's light. Dot one seven. I'm, I'm, dot one seven. That's got to be it. Dot one eight. Ugh. All right, it's not Captain America, it's Captain Britain. I'm gonna use a Gemini comic mailer. Now this is a little bigger. This is bigger than a, uh, wider than a comic book. So I do need to take care to make sure it's not too narrow and damages it. Also, I'm going to start putting an extra piece of tape right here on the sides whenever I ship these because uh, we did have a we did have a customer message us. They bought like a um, they bought a card and a, a comic or something, and I, I shipped them in one of these, and the uh, the card fortunately it made it, but the card slipped whenever he got it out of his mailbox the the card slipped out of the gap was big enough and the card worked its way over here and slipped out <laughs> so i did this just to keep our thank you cards in there this time but yeah moving forward uh gonna do that okay we sold a pair of these boots paid uh twenty dollars a pair let me go ahead and put a little i knew i was gonna end up doing like a little paper or whatever in them we got these for twenty dollars a pair and we're selling them for 80. so after fees we're going to make a nice little should be a good little profit we have three more pairs left after this So if you don't count the fees, that pair pays for the other three. If you count the fees and we're still a little bit in the hole until we sell one more pair. Okay. We're going to do similar to that uh, Black & Decker Scum Buster pack so I think I'm going to probably freehand the resize here pick y'all up a little bit there we go because I can just use the box the shoe box as a guide Perfect. Looks like it was made for this. Pretty easy, right? Cut those flaps. Yeah, I'll go and cut them. Then we just 
really no reason to keep them on there. trying to remember to close my knife up after I almost impaled my foot with it last week. That's the only way I've ever cut myself with the box resizer is a uh, by dropping it. The other time I dropped it and paled it in my leg. I talked about that before. I'm not going to show the picture of my my sock again. <laughs> my, my sock filled up with blood. And I still have a scar from that too. It's probably stitches worthy, but I didn't do anything with it. Okay, there we go. That's it. I'm packing a little bread and butter item here. Maxell, this is a high bias tape. This in particular, like these are... There's some high, high bias tapes that are like super expensive. There's some that are kind of cheap. This one's pretty good. Like if you could get, I only found one and I paid 50 cents for it. But uh, man, if you could find like a little case of 12 of those or something like that, that'd be a pretty good score. Probably like a hundred bucks for one or something. But yeah, even this, uh, 50 cents into $10. I ain't above that. No, indeed, because when it comes to when it comes to garage sales, uh, these kind of little items like this, I try and buy as much as possible at garage sales because you already spend the inner you you you've already woken up early, you you've driven yourself there, you've planned the route, all that stuff, you know, all the preparation and expense of getting to the garage sale. Uh, I, I really feel like we should buy as much as possible once we get there to offset some of those time and financial costs. And it's done. We're packing a Danbury Mint LSU ornament and uh, whenever we sell like things of local interest like this, I always pay attention to where it's going. It's actually going about, I don't know, about 20 minutes away from here. Going to Maripaw, Louisiana. Small town. There's a bunch of little small towns over there uh, in that area. I'm pretty familiar with it because I used to live not, we used to live not too far from there in uh, Santa Mall. We would pass through Maripaw a lot, but uh, yeah. Whenever I whenever I see Maripaw, I always think when I was in high school, I played basketball, and we played them. They were in our district back then. I don't they're I don't know what the size of that school. It was a pretty small school. I went to a small school too, and man, that school it was. The away games at Maripal, their, their gym was set up such that I'm gonna I'm gonna put some cardboard uh, reinforcers in here. So, so super strong for that 20 mile journey it's gonna take. But uh, the the gym was set up to where the fans it felt like like when you were playing it felt like the fans were like right on top of you like right on top of the court it, and it and they got very rowdy in there it was an intimidating place to play it was it was i don't know if it's still like that i have no clue but man i'm i dreaded nothing against mara paul but man i dreaded playing in that gym mm. it looked the gym looked like something out of the 30s or 40s or something it was cool it was a really it had a lot of character to it but the way the fans are right like like it felt like they're right over you man it was oh not like that when you play for a small school you get all kind of gems like that 
there was another gym we'd play in. Uh, I can't remember the name of the school. They actually had, instead of a uh, hard court, they had like an indoor outdoor type hard, like real thin carpet. And if, when you'd fall, you'd get, uh, you'd get rug burns. Right, we're packing all Italiana. And this method has not failed me yet, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. Still need to see how many more of these we have. I'm looking, we've got four on the shelf over there. And then we have some amount in the storage, but I'm, we don't, we don't even know how many we have. We need to go, need to go inventory those things and figure it out. Cause there, there could be a run on these things over the holiday season, hopefully. You remember now? Might finally sell out of them. I never, I never imagined that we would sell this many of these books by now though. It might be one of our better best buy. I think it's it's not our best buy ever. I'm having trouble with that piece of tape. I don't think it's our best buy ever, but I think it might be number two. Best buy ever was when I got a bunch of uh, new old stock key fobs for a certain make and model of car. Bought a hundred of them for hundred and it was either a hundred or a hundred and fifty I paid. So I was into them for like a dollar or a dollar fifty a piece. I don't remember. One more thing, we sold these two uh, lots of Conan comic strip art things. Uh, this happened on Macari. Nice little sale. To move some bulk product. So I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I quit trying to list the sheets individually. This is a much better way for us to sell them. I do think there's a pretty good chance a lot of the ones we're selling are going to end up back on eBay and other platforms. Uh, and I'm fine with that. We've done quite well on this stuff. For a while there, kind of wondering if we were going to sell it or not. And yeah, we did. Fine. A little more. There we go. I feel like I had something else I was talking about that I forgot to finish. Oh well. Tape's about to run out. Come on, baby, you can make it. No, that's all right. I'm gonna. All I want to put is one more piece around the middle. I can do that with this two-inch stuff. All right, that is it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all.